everyone is talking about the github copilot so in this video i am going to work with the github copilot for the first time in my visual studio we will see what is the first impression of using this github copilot in the visual studio and we will perform several operations over here we will generate some code we will refactor some code we will write the documentations we will also try to generate some test cases so many things will be there in this video so let's understand everything from scratch and I'm going to use this GitHub Copilot for the first time in my Visual Studio. I have not performed any operations yet by using this GitHub Copilot in this Visual Studio. And also, I have not read any kind of documentations as well about this GitHub Copilot. So whatever we will do over here will be the first impression about this GitHub Copilot. Before using this GitHub Copilot, you must make sure that you have the license of using this GitHub Copilot. So if you will open your GitHub account and by clicking on this photo, if you will navigate to this GitHub Copilot, your Copilot, then you will get this screen. And over here, if you are having the license, then you will get something like this that you have the license. Second is that you must install the Visual Studio because here I will talk about only the Visual Studio. Although you can use this GitHub Copilot in some other editor as well, but here I will focus only on the Visual Studio. So if you are using the latest version of this Visual Studio, which is 17.10, I guess, then you will get this GitHub Copilot by default over there. And there are few ways to install this GitHub Copilot in your Visual Studio. First is while installing this GitHub Copilot, you will get this kind of a screen so this is just the visual studio installer if i click on this modify button or if you are installing the visual studio for the first time then you will also get this similar window and if you will navigate to this individual component and over here if you will scroll down a little bit then you will see that we are having this ai assistance which is github copilot so if this is checked it means this will be installed as the part of visual studio installation if this is not installed then you can make the changes like this so you can modify the installation go to individual component and check this checkbox and just click on this install while downloading you can also use one more way which is the extensions so let's just close it and if you will go to its extensions click on this manage extensions and in this browse tab you can search for this github copilot so let's search for copilot and here you can notice we are having this github copilot chat you can install this extension in your visual studio by using this approach as well and once you will install it then you will see that on the right hand side we are having this github copilot so if we are having this green tick it means this is enabled and you may have to log in in your visual studio by using the account that has the access in github and here you can notice we are having few things open chat window learn more documentations and license so this is about this github copilot these are some settings that we can perform let's click and see what we have so we can also open these options directly by clicking on this tools and the options and choose this github and then the copilot so so this is the account that i'm using and this has the license for this github copilot and here are some check boxes that you can use to make some settings in your github copilot so here i'm using all the default settings i have not made any change so now let's talk about our first operation which is generate some code and over here i'm using this asp roadnet core web api application and here i'm using some controllers but this github copilot is not specific to this particular application you can use it in any of your application so we are using it in visual studio and it does not matter what kind of application you are having it should work in all your applications so here i'm using uh, this repository and let's add a new repository over here so here I'm going to add employee repo. Click on this add button and this is my very basic class and over here by using the GitHub Copilot, I want to generate some code. So how can I do that? Here you can notice that without doing anything automatically, I'm getting this as an intelligence. And here if you will think that why this GitHub Copilot is showing me this kind of unnecessary code, I don't need this code. So this is because this GitHub Copilot is not something magical this is just a pair programming tool so just think that you are working with someone else and someone else is also helping you in writing your code so he is thinking that you might want to write some methods over here that you want to return the name of your employee but let's say i do not want that so you can simply ignore it right so if it is showing you some intelligence it means someone else is working with you and he is just suggesting that hey we can write these things over there now it is your choice if you want to accept that change or not. This is how this GitHub Copilot will work. All right. Let's say I want to generate some code over here now. So for that, I can use this alt and this forward slash. 
if I will click over there then you can notice I will get this kind of window and here it is saying that you can ask anything to this github copilot okay so let's write some text over here here I'm writing generate all CRUD operations with in-memory storage. So if I will click on this enter button, then you will notice we are having one more line over here. And if I will click on this line, then only it will show you some changes. So here you can notice on the left hand side, we are having the current structure of our class. So because everything is blank, so over here on the left hand side, everything is blank. On the right hand side, this is the code that GitHub Copilot has generated for us. So basically, this is the in-memory collection and it has generated some methods and the constructor. In the constructor, it is basically creating the instance of this list and we are having methods over here. Create, read, update, delete. So let's just accept it. If you want to accept it, then you can click on this one. If you do not want to accept it, then you can click on this cancel button as well. Okay. You can also ask some further questions over here in this ask copilot so first let's accept this change and let's see how it will work so here you can notice that it has generated some code but the class that is being used is not there okay so let's ask this github copilot to generate this employee class as well so again we can do that here i'm writing generate this employee class too and uh, click on this one so it has generated a new class and basically if you will notice that it is suggesting to create inside the models folder we don't have any models folder over here so i'm assuming that this will create a new models folder at the root level of this application and this will add this class over there so let's just accept this change so it has generated this class and i don't see it over here on the right hand side if i will just try to save the change here i am seeing this asterisk star it means this file has not been saved if i click over here then you can notice that it is asking me to save it again okay so basically i will have to create my folder over here which is fine so now you can see that we are having this models and employees so although i was hoping that this would do all these operations by itself but this is something that we are doing manually so remember this is not a fixed pattern that this is how you will always have to save your files in some cases this may generate or save all your files automatically so this is just a peer programming tool and this is also learning while you are working with this github copilot so sometime it may perform all these operations and sometime it may not so now it is fine and if i go back to this employee repository and over here you can notice that we would have to import that namespace uh, applications for dot models so I'm using this models and you can notice that all the error is gone. Now this method is fine. Now let's assume while creating, I want to add some validations as well to this employee. So again for that, if I press this alt and the forward slash, again I'm opening this window. Here I'm writing, please add some validations before creating this employee. So either you can click on this enter button or you can press this button over here. Things are same. So let's click again over here. Light. so here you can notice that we are having this employee is not equal to zero so these are some validations that it has written for us let's just accept the change and see what are there so if the name is not there then we should get this error if the is is not there then we should get again error and this is is not there in this employee dot cs i don't think this is a very good impression so i would say that this is a mixed impression it has generated the code for us but it is using some properties that does not exist in our model class well let's just comment it so just try this operation and let me know what is happening with you if you are trying this github copilot by yourself like this if i talk about this validations then here you can notice that everything is written in line or i would be happy if this would have generate a separate method over here and just move all the validations from this method to the next method and use that method over here for the validations but so far this is a kind of mixed feeling and let's try a few other things as well so now let's talk about some refactoring and here i would like to start this refactoring with this same method here i'm writing refactor this code and click on this enter button refactor this method click on this one and here you can notice that this time it has created a new validate employee method and in that validate employee method it has basically written this kind of code so let's accept it and see what it has done so this is the validate employee and this is the entire method so this time you can see that it has generated this method but the placement of this method could have been improved here we are getting this method just below this method but because this is a private method and in general we put all these private methods at the lower side so but it is okay and this is how it is working 
to work on this refactoring concept i have also written some more code over here and if i go to this helper class and and these are three methods over here i want to refactor all of them by using this github copilot so if again i'm using that github copilot window and here again you will see that there are few ways if i press only this forward slash then we can ask this github copilot all these things so here you can notice that we can use any one of the concept but let's talk about this fix so i want to fix refactor this method and click on this enter button and click on this one again so here you can notice that this is the code that it had generated so what it has done it has basically created one more variable over here assigning the true value so it has combined both these conditions under one single if and based on that it is returning the true and false but i don't think this is a very good improvement so if you are talking about the number of lines then again this could have been improved because here you can notice that we are only expecting a boolean values if all these conditions are valid then only we should get true so if we are writing only this line by using and and then i think this should have worked so i don't want to use this code let's say i'm writing so here i'm writing give me another code press this enter button and let's see if this will work or not so this is what i wanted but here you can notice that it has made the changes in all other methods as well so it has updated this sample method as well although i was talking about this first method but it is making change in the other methods as well so it is fine let's click on this accept button and so and this is a good improvement so it has removed all the unnecessary code and we are having only the proper code over here now let's talk about can we generate some comments as well over here so over here if i'm using this uh, double forward slash then you can notice it is telling us some comments automatically and we are getting this suggestion that method to validate email but honestly this is not a method to validate the email this is a method to validate the phone number and here you can notice even in the method name we are having this validate phone number i don't think this is a very good impression the way it is working it is showing us some wrong value but let's do that and change this code by ourselves now which is fine now let's talk about this calculate area so here you can notice that i'm using this 3.14 so it is an hard coded value and we could get this value by using that math.py so let's see if this will work like that as well or not so again let's use that github copilot concept here i'm writing refactor this method using the math class click on this enter button let's see what will happen so this time you can notice that we are getting the suggestion that yes we are having this math.py and math.power so this is i would say a really good improvement so we are not using anything hard coded we are not using this radius two times we are using this math class this time for this pi value and for this power as well so let's accept it and see so it means this concept is working fine so let's try to generate some more method by using this comment concept so over here so here i'm writing this concept in the comment to generate a fibonacci series and here you can notice immediately we are getting a suggestion that this is the method to generate your fibonacci series if i press on the step button then we are getting this method and this is super impressive let's try to generate few more methods over here validate email so we are getting this method in suggestion to validate this email so for the generation of the code i think this github copilot is working good so far but for some refactoring there are few things that could have been improved now let's talk about some more operations over here you can also use this github copilot chat so if i click on this button over here and open chat window so this will open a new window over here and again you can see that we are having this similar kind of window and we are having this ask copilot so we can use two things over here one is this forward slash and again we are having all those options or we can also use this hash symbol over here we can use this hash symbol to mention any other file of this particular application so let's say here i'm writing uh, i want to talk about this employee repository and i'm writing explain this code to me click on this enter button let's see what will happen so this github copilot is taking some time so this github copilot chat has written some text over here about the explanation of that particular employee repository so it is saying that this employee repo class has been defined and this class will handle all the crud operations then these are some private fields this is the constructor create method so basically it has explained all the methods to me but let's assume i want to explain only one single method what will happen in that case so let's assume that i want to talk about this calculate area so let's use this old this again i'm opening this window over here and if i'm writing it like this explain 
so this time here you can notice that i'm having this proper explanation and i don't have to write too much things over here i'm simply using this proper slash and then this explain option was there and because of that i'm getting all these things i'm also getting some suggestions over here how can i modify this method to calculate the area of the sphere instead of a circle so let's click on this one as well and see what will happen this time so and this is how you can use this code this time over here so let's just cancel it and now let's talk about the biggest expectation from this github copilot and which is about generating of the unit test cases so here i am inside this employee repository and let's again open that github copilot window and here i'm writing generate unit test cases for this class as a separate project let's see what will happen this time so here you can see what we are having we are having a new class basically so this is web application for dot test and these are the methods so the name for the file is good let's just accept it and see how this file will look like so here you can notice that this is the class and this is again that private field and this is the method for the setup so naming convention is also very good we always follow this kebab cases kind of syntax for the unit test cases so this is arrange act and the assert and here you can notice that it has generated so many unit test cases for us and i think it is covering almost all the scenarios so this part is really impressive but again i was expecting it to be generated in a separate project but if i open this so let's just close it github copilot chat and i don't think it has generated any kind of new project for us it is basically showing us as an unsaved file so i can generate a new project in the solution explorer and i can save this file over there under that new test case project so here let's generate the employee controller as well so if i go to this add click on this controller and here i'm using this api controller click on this add i will be using the employee controller and let's assume that i want to use that repository over here so here i'm writing generate all action methods by using that employee wrapper class click on this enter button and let's see what it will do now so it has created all the action methods by using that employee repository class let's click on this accept button so this is good and and here you can notice that we are getting this error because we have not imported the namespace of this employee repository so let's again right click over here and click on this ask copilot so here i'm writing fix this error let's see what will happen and this time you can see what it has done so i'm expecting basically to fix that error but but i think this is using this from body over here i don't think so this will fix our problem let's click on this save button no this problem is not fixed so here i'm writing again fix this employee repo error click on this send button let's see what will happen this time no no suggestions found fix this so i don't think so this is helping us too much in this one so if i'm just right click over here quick actions then you will notice that we are having the suggestion and this is the default intelligence from this visual studio so by using this concept this is working fine so here you can notice that we are having two methods which is get all employees get employee by id if i go to employee repository let's just copy this name and go back to this employee repository and here you can notice that we don't even have this method so so far what i think if i'm telling this github copilot to use the reference of other file then it is not taking that reference it is generating the code by itself so i told this github copilot to generate this employee controller by using the existing employee repository but i think this is not using this existing employee repository rather it has generated all these methods by itself again we will have to refactor this code over here and i don't think this is a very good impression and that is all about of using this github copilot for the first time in this visual studio so here is my feedback about this github copilot that it is good in generating the code it can generate the code but if you will ask this github copilot to use your existing file then it is not taking that much help over there because in almost all the operations it is assuming everything as a new code and it is not taking the reference from your existing one so saving a new file creating the employee model these things could have been improved but overall i think that there is an area of improvement in this github copilot and most of the time if i'm having this unnecessary suggestion then i may get annoyed with all this unnecessary code because i know what i want to write and it is showing me something else and again i will have to just remove that code and then go on i don't think these things are really good 
and please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what is your feedback of using this github copilot in visual studio and in the other editors do you think that this is good or this is just the hype in this ai market that is all in this video thank you for watching